What to focus on first in your postpartum recovery. So in the beginning, I stress so much to all my moms is really, really just being with your baby and bonding, right? There's so much new, especially if it's a first for you and even if it's a sixth for you, right? Really spending just that time nourishing your body and your babies and just spending that time bonding with each other. That's, that is the most important thing in those early days postpartum, right? Then obviously I get a lot of questions about, you know, getting back to exercise postpartum and all of that. And so I want to talk about that here today. And so when we think about getting back into exercise, right, a lot of times it's like, okay, you know, that six week checkup, if you've had a vaginal birth and you get the green light, everything looks good and you can just get back to doing your exercise, right? Or maybe you've had a cesarean birth and it's the 10 week checkup and then it's like, oh, everything checks the box and you can head back to your, you know, your exercise routines, right? So I want to like have you slow down a little bit and pause for a moment because there's a couple things with that. So when we're thinking early postpartum, what I want to encourage you is that I do encourage my moms to move a little bit. Now, very clear to say we're not exercising and I really, really, really want to lay that out there. We're not going back to the gym. We're not even thinking about running or doing anything like exercise related, but here's the deal we're moving. We are movement beings. We're not supposed to just be static and do nothing, right? Plus the other thing is if we don't do anything in those first six to 10 weeks, we're going to lose a lot of strength. Okay. And I don't want that for any one of you. Now that said, again, we're not going to the gym. We're not lifting weights. We, we want to, we want to avoid, I'm gonna talk about in a minute why I want you to avoid those things. However, I want you to start thinking about movement as healing movement. What are some things that you can do to start getting a little bit of movement, starting to wake up your pelvic floor and your deep core, starting to feel longer and taller through your body because there's a lot of postural shifts that take place during pregnancy, right? And they can leave you feeling lots of aches. They can make you, your back can be hurting, right? Your pelvis, your hips, your neck, all the things, right? Trust me, I help women all the time help to heal their body and I do it through, a lot of it's through movement. So this movement can be so healing for us. So in those early days, some of the things I recommend you start doing is bringing awareness to your breath, right? Starting to just, how does my breath, how am I breathing, right? If you feel like you're breathing and your shoulders are going up all the time, I encourage you to just starting to bring more awareness to your posture, opening up your diaphragm and your body so that your breath can go deeper into your body. Okay, and then this is also key in helping you to wake up your pelvic floor. And again, ladies, even if you've had a cesarean, it doesn't matter, you still need to wake up your pelvic floor as well postpartum, okay? Because during that whole time of carrying a baby or multiple babies, maybe for some of you, right? A lot of weight and stress has been put on your pelvic floor, okay? And so we need to think about starting to wake it up very gently, okay? And so breath is one of the best ways to do that. Okay. and posture. So those are two things you can begin doing. Um, okay, so I always encourage my moms to get out and just get some fresh air, get a little bit of walking in. Again, we're not walking for burning calories. We're not walking to build strength. We're walking to just get some a little bit of movement in our body because stagnation can make us just feel more blah, right? And we kind of get weaker when we do that. So just getting outside and getting some fresh air, like it's so good for us mentally as well, right? Especially postpartum, right? We're tired. There's so many things going on with your body. Everything's readjusting, right? And here's what I recommend. I love, love, love baby wearing. Um, if that's something that resonates with you, or if you prefer to put your baby in a stroller, right? Whatever works for you. Um, but take your baby with you. That fresh air is good for them. It's an appropriate time of year, right? If it's super, super cold or crazy hot, right? But all the rest of the times of year when the weather is decent and manageable, dress accordingly, get outside and get some fresh air and get some movement. It's just so good for you, not only physically, but also mentally, right? We need, we know that being out in nature, being outside can be so healing for us in so many ways. Okay. So that light movement. So we're working on our posture, right? Thinking about our posture. Okay. And so for nursing, right? Or even if you're bottle feeding, it doesn't matter or a combination of both thinking about bringing baby to you, thinking about how am I holding my body? Try to avoid holding your body with your back. I want you to feel your pelvic floor. Think about your pelvic floor lightly connecting and zipping up lightly through the top of your head. Just that alone can help you to start to feel better in your body. Okay. So we're bringing baby to us. We're bringing, you know, bottle to baby, not our body like this. 
okay? Because that's only going to add to aches and pains. Um, we're bringing more awareness to our pelvic floor deep core, starting to visualize and starting to do some light movements, some movements that I love, love, love teaching my moms and I teach us like a whole early postpartum section inside of my core rehab program, which I recommend to all of my moms to do um, because it's so healing and there is an early postpartum section. And so I teach additional movements and things, again, healing movements, and that's how we need to look at it. We're not looking at it from a perspective of like, starting to lose any baby weight or any of that stuff, right? We are truly looking at movement to heal, to start to wake up some stagnation in our body, to start to remind our body to be tall, right? Because you're going to feel so much better. So I, I just, I can't stand the whole like, well, you can't do anything for six to 10 weeks postpartum. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're still moving and especially a lot of you, right, have more than one baby. So you are more than one kiddo, right? So you're chasing toddlers around. You're not, not chasing a toddler around if you've got another, if you've got a toddler in your house, right? So we need to start recognizing like we're doing movement in our day. So how are we doing that movement? And that's what I love, love, love teaching all of you because it's not just about doing the movement like in say a workout type setting. It's about how are we moving during our day? How are we breathing? How are we holding our baby? How are we holding our toddler? How are we holding, you know, all of those things matter and they can add up to us feeling so much more empowered, so much more energized and just feeling mentally so much better about ourselves and life. Um, and then the third one I said, I was going to talk a little bit about why I want you to avoid some of those exercise, like intense exercises soon postpartum. So running, mm -mm. we're going to put that on the, on the shelf for now. We're going to come back to it in the future. Um, and keep in mind when I say all this, it's a for now, not a for never type thing, right? Um, because early postpartum, we want to think about movement as healing movement, not about exercise. So running, anything high intensity, any any weights, honestly, in the beginning, you don't need it. There's so much you can do just with your breath and gentle movements and creating more space in your body that we don't need high intensity or any of that in the beginning. And here's the real, here's also why you want to avoid that. Okay. If that's not enough information for me to help you to be like, stop doing those things is I do not want you to start to deal with any sort of pelvic organ prolapse with your uterus, you know, sliding down through your vaginal opening intestines through the rectum, bladder, things like that. It happens. Okay. And if that kind of freaks you out, I kind of want it to. Okay. Because here's the real reason is that those things happen to women. And I cannot tell you how many women have come to me and said, Erica, I wish someone had told me that that could even happen. They didn't even know. And that's why I say it. It's not to scare you. It's to educate you. It's to educate you. And if you're someone who's like itching, itching, itching to get back to running, I'm gonna tell you, please slow down, take your time, come join me in core rehab with all the other moms and women who are healing their bodies and working back to getting back to running. Their body's gonna be so much more prepared and ready when they've done the deeper healing work for their body. And I cannot tell you how many moms have said to me, oh my gosh, Erica, like now after like following what I teach, my techniques, my breathing, my cueing, all of those things and applying them to not just their movement and exercise practice. You can start exercising eventually, but right now we're just doing gentle movement. They're like, I am stronger and I am running faster than before I had kids. Like, okay, we don't talk enough about that. I could do a whole other video on that because that is fascinating, right? To even think that that's possible, but it truly is. So that said, right? High intensity stuff, doing jumping exercises, even heavy weights and all that. We've got to table them for now. And my goal, my goal for every single one of you is whatever you want to be doing in life, I want to help you get there, but I want to help you get there in a way that is nourishing and healing for your body. So that when we get you back to there, even when it takes you longer, like you may have to wait six months, you may have to wait three months. Like you may have to wait a year. I don't know, right? Cause everyone's bodies are different. We've all gone through different things. We've all had different birth experiences, right? We don't, I don't know. I can't answer that cause it's an individual thing, but recognizing that when you really take a step back and look at, okay, I'm going to do this to heal my body so that I can go do all of the physical activities for as long as I possibly can in my lifetime. And I know sometimes when we're younger and we're having babies, we think we can tolerate all this, but I've worked with so many women from, you know, at all ages, right? And I end up working with women who are, you know, 50s, 60s and up. And I'll tell you time and time again, they were like, if I had had this information when I was a younger mom, when I was having babies, 
it would have just transformed her life and she wouldn't have had to suffer so much. So I'm just, I'm, I'm like regurgitating and sharing some words of wisdom um, because I know sometimes when we're in it, we're like maybe too exhausted, too tired, thinking we just, just wanna like go hard and get it done and then move on with our day. But I just wanna encourage you all again, like really take these, um, these especially these early months postpartum to slow it down. Don't do any, don't not do anything, right? I want you moving, but I want you moving in a way that is so healing and nourishing to your body. And you know, I've got so many amazing resources for you. I'm here for you. My coaches are here for you that we offer coaching support. That's what I love about what I get to do is yes, I'm giving you the tools and techniques, but we're also there to support you. I don't ever want any one of you to feel like you're alone because you're not. And I know what it's like, you know, as a mom of three, um, and running my own business right and life can get crazy and busy and I know sometimes it feels like we're just like we're barely like surviving and I really want to help each and every one of you to get out of survival to feel amazing to feel like you're strong enough to keep up with everything that life demands of you and so if you ladies are interested please in learning more or more resources please don't hesitate to reach out um, leave a comment below reach out to me um, and you can learn more about my core rehab program just go to core rehab program Dot com and check it out um, sign up get started today it's never it's never too early to get started even if you're a week postpartum there are so much education in there for you to learn about breathing about posture about moving Heck, I teach a walking tutorial ladies and I cannot tell you how many women have reached out to me and they're like Erica I was walking wrong <laughs> it's sometimes the simplest little things or hearing something a little bit different can just like Oh my gosh, just truly, really be so transformative. So I'm here for you. My team is here for you. We just love, love, love getting to support every single one of you. So again, reach out if you have questions. And if you're wanting to learn more about my Core Rehab program, just go to corerehabprogram.com. And I just am so grateful I get to do the work that I do. And I look forward to getting to meet you soon.